everybody, I'm Eric Kucharski and this is the Swap Shop. Whoa. So here's today's pickups I'm out in the field uh, this morning. We got all these, these were $2 each. Uh, Infinite Warfare, Resident Evil, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, Forza Horizon. And if that wasn't crazy enough, boom. We have a, we have a Super Nintendo. We got these for a really, really good deal. I want to say I paid 40 for both. This one's got all the cords hooked up to it. No game in the system, but we've got How are you today, man? I'm fine. one Super Nintendo controller, and then this one's got two, so two complete systems, power cords, everything. That's awesome. I'll see you guys later at the swap shop. Okay, so I just made my first sale for 55, sold some Switch stuff. We got, these are the systems I got this morning, Nintendo and a Super Nintendo. And then we got, we got some decent games out here. Pokemon Diamond, Clay Fighter, Paper Mario, Baseball, all these Switch games. And then we got the wall of usualness. This is always here. So, I got a question of the day coming up for you guys later in the episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, this is, we're here. We're at the one, the only, the swap shop and we're gonna go see some stuff inside and uh yeah this is a uh, this is the swappy shoppy i don't have a lot of battery so i gotta go charge my uh my camcorder later today but anyway i'll see you guys inside Woo. Hey, all that fire rescue done they got a piano Animals. This is the inside of the swap shop building. There's a bunch of arcades that I'm trying to go find if they're still here. They should be back in one of these corners. But here, hold on. Out there, there's a bunch of uh, the cars, classic cars they have here at the swap shop. And then right there, there's the sign arcade. But uh, it's not much of an arcade anymore these days. But Back in the day, it was popping up here with games. I'm gonna show you this one. Yeah, this is that baby. This used to be the thing back in the day. Man, now it's a shell of its former self. This thing's been here for years. Uh, arcade blaster, you shoot and you hit the buttons. It does stuff that's kind of funny, but. Yep, this, this whole thing used to be arcade all the way down, and there was tickets and everything, and just go back and watch my old videos. You'll see. But this was, this place is definitely not what it used to be, but what can you do? You know, COVID came in and tore this place apart, apparently. Anyway, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go back outside, go, go get some more footage, and I'll see you later at the swap shop. Woo! It's funny they still have the, uh, the the ticket place here, and then over here I want to show you this. This is a little go kart section, car racing, wheels to drive, poison older, no bumping, plus for seatbelt, drive at on risk. But it's it's just like it's like a grave now, because like this used to be actual, you know, racing, and now it's it's pretty much just a uh, you just look look at what it used to be at this point. And then I think all the arcades are back over in here. And then down there is the food court. Man, I, I, I miss what the swap shop used to be, for sure. Collect 200 salary as you go. That's on the roof. And then this one says Chance. And then, uh, what is this? Reading Railroad, price $200. And then like I said, over here we have, there's some of the old arcades. They're running low on the old arcades and stuff. There's not many left. 
and then there's one like way over there. Again, this place was popping a long time ago. It's sad, actually, but I still come here. <sighs> I still make money here, so it's still a market. Market part's good, at least. Oh, look, swap shop. This used to be uh, a theme park, and it's just all gone. There was a DeLorean over there. What the heck? What is going on? another $20 sale I sold uh, what did I sell I sold Rayman on the Wii and then I sold Tomb Raider on the PS1 so stay tuned got some customers I'll see you guys later Whoa. okay so it's the end of the day on Sunday uh, that's where my booth Sunday. or no Saturday yeah and end of the day Saturday I'm tired it's been a long day anyway we packed up uh, I did I did good today I, I did enough. I won't, yeah, I won't, yeah. We'll leave it there. I did enough for today. Hopefully tomorrow we can make some more. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two at uh, this place right here, the Swap Shop. Woo! So we are back. It is day two. Uh, we're about, to, we're, I'm about to start setting up. I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, we're back. It's the Swap Shop, so, whoa. It's off to a roaring start. I'm outside looking for stuff. I'll keep you guys updated if I find anything. And then I'm gonna go head back to the booth. Go see what's up at the booth. Whoa. Just picked up some stuff. Gonna go head back to the booth and show you what I got in a second. Finally grabbed something out here. There wasn't anything this morning in the dark. I couldn't see anything. But I got some stuff now. So here's the pickups. We got a DualShock PS3 camo controller. That's gonna be probably like $20 in value. Forza Horizon 2. I've been picking up a lot of Forza games out here. By me, these sell really well and they're kind of hard to find for some other reason. I don't know why. We've got Final Fantasy, um, Metal Gear Solid 4. This one here is actually a Japanese copy of Street Fighter 4. Look at that. Oh yeah. We've got Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Didn't pay much for those at all and we got monopoly uh, family fun pack i thought this one was going to be decent it's only like 15 bucks but still brunswick bowling on the wii u and then lo and behold another forza horizon so we did end up getting some stuff today it wasn't as crazy as yesterday's two nintendo's deal nintendo super nintendo deal but anyway i'll see you guys later at the swap shop i'm gonna try and make some more sales just made a 60 dollars i made a bunch of sales actually we're we're getting close to it's a little after 11 right now um 60 bucks sold sold a few parts systems uh, but yeah and then what else have i got i got i sold pokemon diamond today i sold the paper mario i had i still got some other good stuff i still got breath of the wild uh it's been crazy uh in a second i'm gonna do a question of the day i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do for that uh so stick around stay tuned and I'll see you guys in a second. Whoa. Okay, so it's time for the question of the day. And I just thought of this kind of on the spot. So I've been coming to this market for like between 10 and 15 years now, every other year or whatever. Um, and you've seen the changes. Obviously this one's been declining a little bit as far as the inside goes. But my question is, what is your guys' opinions of flea markets in general? Do you believe that at some point in the future we're gonna be completely phased out and it's all gonna be Amazon and online? Or do you think that, oh, that's a bag blows in my booth. Um, do, do you guys think that flea markets are here for the, the long haul? So comment about the whole flea market scene below and let me know your opinion. And I will see you guys uh, later at the swap shop. Okay, so we're packing up. Uh, I'm about to leave the swap shop. We're gonna head, we're heading home. Uh, thanks to everybody that watched the streams right here. Um, I'll see you guys next time. When we go Easter. set up, yeah, 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 it's Easter. I'll see you guys next time. Say happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Whoa.
Okay.